Hello, my name is Stephen Cook, a solution engineer at DocuSign, and today I will walk you through what a day in the life with DocuSign CLM would be like. I'll be playing a lot of roles, including a business user, external party, finance, and legal. I'll start by playing the role of a business user who needs to send out an NDA. With DocuSign CLM, all they would need to do is click Request, in this case, an NDA. I want to send out our NDA, so click and I'm brought into a form which is configurable to guide me through the process. This will help eliminate back and forth emails with missing information. Here I'll include customer name, who I want to sign, and hit next. This will take legal's pre-approved template and merge in any information that was collected to generate the document automatically. For this scenario, I'll leave that blank to show the benefits of our eSign product later and hit save for now. As a requester, I'll have self-service visibility on my watch list. At the same time, Legal's notified that an NDA has been sent to the prospect and has been given visibility as well. Switching roles and playing the part of an external signer, here we can see they've received a brand new email with a link. When I click that link, I'm brought into the document. I'm walked through different areas that I need to fill out along with sign. You can make these required to make sure I don't miss anything. More importantly, you now can avoid sales reps making the mistake of filling out information wrong and allow signers to enter the information correctly the first time. Once the external party signs, the document is automatically routed to our internal signer who signs off similarly. Switching back into the role of the business user, once everyone has signed off, there's a lot of things that are happening automatically. My pending documents list was automatically updated. A folder was created with the correct company name, and the document was automatically moved into it. We can also see expiration reminders are set to go out. And that collected information was tagged as metadata for reporting, but also can be utilized to make generating other agreements faster with the correct information. So now if I've gotten to the point where an MSA is ready for negotiation, I can click the MSA request button. And instead of having to type that information in all over again, I can reference it in an easy drop-down menu selection to merge into my MSA template. In this situation, the MSA is for 175 k and requires finance to approve it. The document will automatically route to finance to make sure it's approved before going to the customer. They've also said that their legal team will review the document, so I'll click send for review, which will send a secure link to the document to make the redlining process easier. When I click next, I can see all of the information entered along with some hidden information like legal clauses were merged into my MSA template where I can review and click save. I'll have visibility throughout the process and can see it's been routed to Ian and Finance for approval. Switching roles and playing the part of Finance, I can see directly from my dashboard I have a contract for XYZ company that needs approval. I can click the task, which brings me into a preview of the document, along with a summary of the information I need to make my decision quickly. I can also take a look at the attributes for a quick snapshot of what's in the document rather than reading through the entire agreement. Once I click Approve, a link to the document is automatically sent to the external reviewer. Switching roles and playing the part of the external reviewer, we can see they're sent an email with a link to the document which will guide them through the review process. If they want to make changes, they simply download the document and make any updates they want. I'm going to pretend I'm a bad reviewer who has turned off track changes and will add some information in along with modify and delete some things, like governing law to Illinois, payment terms to net 60, and delete out a chunk of this text. I'll save the document, and now can upload the new version and provide some comments back to their team as well. Once I hit finish, that document is then automatically routed to Legal's inbox. Switching roles and playing the part of Legal, we can see I have a brand new task to review this contract that was modified. 
When I click the task, I can see in the instructions the information I typically am reviewing and can check the activity to see who the document has gone to and any comments they had. Instead of approve decline, I have more control here over where the document goes after me. We can also see the new version of the document was automatically uploaded and the name was reconciled. I can click to compare the document that was sent to the reviewer to the one they uploaded. This will allow you to catch any changes even when track changes is turned off. I'm doing this manually here, but this can also be done automatically as well. In this situation, I want to approve and reject some things. So instead of the typical saving the document to my local drive and opening it, I can click to open with DocuSign Edit, which will handle this for me. Now I can go through and reject or approve what I want. Now the customer didn't like our limitation of liability, so I'm going to try our fallback clause and utilize DocuSign CLM's Word plugin to easily insert my fallback clause in the document and then click to save. When I click save, the document is automatically uploaded back in as a new version and we'll have a detailed list of who's made changes and be able to compare to previous versions as well. Normally, I would have to send this back to the customer for review but let's pretend like we've come to a finalized agreement and click send for signature. This will automatically send a link to the document for the customer to sign. Switching roles again and playing the part of the external signer, we can see they're sent a link with the correct document and are guided through where they need to sign, just like the NDA signing process. Switching roles to the business user, we can see their dashboard was automatically updated to reflect the new customer they signed. If they click into the document, we can see an expiration reminder was automatically set and NDA was related. We can also see a document was automatically tagged with a lot of information. The payment term that was negotiated inside of the contract was correctly tagged along with the correct payment due date, which is visible to my finance team's dashboard. We can also see the expiration date is now visible on Legal's dashboard for upcoming renewals. They can also easily find the customer's folder that has all the documents signed by them, named correctly, even a Word version of the previously signed agreement so that they don't have to start from scratch during renegotiations.